Welcome to Technology on the Move. I am Akhil Vishwanadam and I lead the technology teams for Walmart International here in India. It has been three years since I shot my first episode and a lot has happened in those three years. A global pandemic hit us and we all know how it went, right? Too many challenges that all of us had to face and overcome. But it also taught us a lot of things. Resilience is one of them. New ways of working. We all work from home whether we did it before or not. And then of course, the customers also changed the way they were looking at things and buying things from us and shopping with us. What has not changed really was Walmart's commitment to the customer to serve our customers in the way that they wanted. And to help us take care of our customers was the unprecedented usage of technology and how we use technology to really help them get whatever they want at the time they wanted and at the kind of convenience they were looking for. Joining us today in this episode is Shravana Karnati, who leads the technology for all of Walmart International. Hey Akhil, how are you? Hi Shravana, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing really fantastic. By the way, when you said uh, we have a video shoot, I didn't realize that that's going to be right in the car. <laughs> well, this is technology on the move. So we start here and let's see where it takes that us. Totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah. So Shravna, you grew up in India. You spent a lot of formative years here in India. That's and of right. course, you've been traveling back and that's right. you've come here after two years after the pandemic. How do you think India has changed? Tremendously, actually, you know, India constantly changes, uh, you know, every year and on every trip in the past, I've seen change. And so you asked me about uh, my formative years, I would say that I grew up in Chennai and, uh, you know, being part of Walmart now, uh, knowing our mission of uh, helping people live better lives, it brings special meaning to me, given that experience. I worked in India for two and a half years before I headed out to the U.S. Uh, those are the days when Windows did not exist and the beefiest machines that you saw, that you dealt with, uh, were yeah, Intel 286 machines. And, you know, India has come a long way since that time. I know Walmart has played a huge role in that. Uh, and uh, just to see this thriving Walmart global tech, you know, offices in India, it's just an amazing feeling. I agree, Shravana. I mean, the, uh, the fact that Walmart Global Tech India has grown so much in the last few years is because of the amazing talent that's available here. Yeah, you're right, Akhil. I mean, you know, in India has uh, tremendous uh, technology talent. You know, as you drive through the streets, you will see a uh, number of colleges and uh, awareness in the society uh, when it comes to technology is it, just tremendous. And, and within Walmart Global Tech in India, we have all functions, you know, product, engineering, program, system engineering, all kinds of uh, functions. And what is really amazing is the ability to impact customers and their lives and our businesses across the globe. Right. From right within the center. Our, our culture enables that. You know, people-led company uh, right. that is uh, a technology enabled company and uh, there are tremendous uh, opportunities for individuals part of this. Uh, I can see why uh, people come and join uh, Walmart Global Tech. It is to make that huge impact and, and we, we bring our best selves to work every day. Absolutely and the opportunity to work across multiple countries and create an impact around the whole world is amazing and on that note we have arrived at work. You are a vegan, right? Yeah, I am. Are you wondering why I'm punishing myself? No, 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 no. I was just wondering what are you having in your coffee? Is that almond milk or oat milk? Actually, since you asked, I like to have black coffee at work. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, there are many ways to whiten your coffee. Almond milk, rice milk, oat milk, whatever. Interesting, never knew of the options. Shravana, with international travel, in, travel opening up and you've been to our markets, you've just visited Mexico and met with the people in person and now you are here in Bangalore. How has it been and more importantly, how have you been able to balance things between all these different time zones? As you know, we're in multiple markets, Mexico, Canada, Chile, uh, South Africa and so forth. It is extremely important for us to really be in the market not only visit the stores, but also watch 
the neighborhoods in which our stores are. That really informs you as to the customer that you're serving, the pain points, and it allows us to actually build the right solutions from a technology standpoint. So you're right, I mean, there's been a, a quite a bit of travel since travel opened up. It's a good thing because we're out there meeting the customers, meeting our stakeholders in the market. But at the same time, it does take a toll on you from a travel perspective. Good thing is we have teams all over in each of these markets and they're really awesome. And, and they do a really good job of taking care of the customer. And uh, because of the connectivity that we're all in, we are able to more easily connect to our stakeholders, our customers and our teams, and also our families. So it's not been too much of a problem in terms of being able to be there for the family when they really need it, uh, need you and at the same time uh, for our teams as well. And as you travel, you'll understand the nuances of the market exactly. and then the connect that you that we build, as you mentioned, exactly. that's really amazing, exactly. I guess. But while we're talking about international market, why don't we really call the people who are making a difference and driving those successful businesses in Canada and Mexico? Hey, Ignacio, Laurent, thank you so much for joining me and Shravana on technology and the move and more importantly coming here to Bangalore and meeting with all of us. As somebody who leads the e-commerce and the financial services business at Walmart Mexico and Mexico itself being such a such a growth economy with so much of investment coming in especially in the financial services industry our offerings of the digital wallet in Kashi how do you think that is affecting the entire environment and helping our customers? Yes, what we want is to give our customers access to the digital economy mm -hmm. and to the financial system. Uh, a lot of uh, customers in Mexico pay with cash because mm -hmm. they are left behind uh, the financial uh, access. So with Cashy, we're looking forward to help them um, access the digital economy. Yeah, and it gives them the convenience and the various options that we have. But even when they're traveling, they're able to find something, right? Yeah. Exactly. So the, by, by having uh, the wallet, they will be able to access all, all the offers that are online that are much better and more convenient. That sounds amazing. Post the pandemic, there's been a huge change in the way customers shop, especially with them all leaning towards online shopping. So how are we keeping pace with this changing trend and what are we doing within technology and the markets itself to meet these customer needs? Yeah, great question, Akhil. As you know, Walmart has been in the business for 60 years. We've always invested in technology and brought about a number of transformations in the industry through the power of technology. And in fact, even in e-commerce, my first order in Walmart e-commerce was in 2004. So over the years, we continue to strengthen our e-commerce and store technology and so forth. And over the past few years, we realized that customer expectations were changing. They're valuing convenience a lot more. They wanted to interact with us, not through just one channel, but multiple channels. Right. And so we've been investing in e-commerce, merchandising in terms of selection, supply chain, and, and all aspects of technology. And all of that helped tremendously during the pandemic in our ability to serve our customers better. In fact, Laurent, you're head of e-commerce in Canada and a lot of things happening in that market. What are you seeing? How are we preparing? Thanks for that. I mean, we see the customer expectation keep evolving, raising the bar. They expect greater selection, a more international selection. And who better than Walmart actually with its global footprint to offer a true global marketplace. And I'm really excited about what we're building here. Actually, not only the customers will have access to a greater selection, but with greater speed as well to our fulfillment services. And it's a great testimony of what we're building here, powered by the global tech team. Absolutely, it's, it's really awesome to hear. And this, this team here in IDC is powering a lot of that. Agreed, Laurent. Our customers are looking at convenience. They're looking at price. They're looking at choice, right? And they want all of these, regardless of which location they are at, and whether they shop at the stores or they're shopping online. And all of that becomes very, very important in the current world. And then, of course, we have to give them the right kind of experience, whether it is in the stores or is it on online and the e-commerce side of it. And I think we are headed in the right direction and our audience will agree based on the conversation that we had so far. But before we sign off, do you have any thoughts or advice from all of you to our budding technologists who are out there? It's actually been my first time in Walmart India offices. And I have to say that I've seen truly what a people-led tech organization is all about. So. I've met outstanding talent, talent that are passionate about solving big and complex problems. 
I truly believe that we're set up to achieve amazing things and make customer lives way better. This is my second time here and, and the impact we are seeing with the teams, the quality, the quality of, of a team, how big is, how much is growing the, the amount of people and the impact they are having in the business back, back in, in Mexico and I believe in Canada as well. It's, it's incredible. We are innovating, we are creating new things, we are solving problems uh, and with a passion that, 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 that's very amusing for, for the rest of us. I could not agree more, uh, Akhil. Uh, you know, what, uh, first of all, this is my first time uh, in our offices in India as Walmart Global Tech. Uh, and I was blown away, to say the least. The talent, the, the complexity of problems they're solving, the passion, the care, uh, and the inquisitiveness that, that our uh, technologists demonstrated, uh, it just blew me away. Walmart, our mission is noble, it is great. Uh, we're all about helping people live better lives in various markets we, we have our businesses in. And uh, the beauty of global tech is we're not building just for one market. So our developers in India could be building software, building platforms that help our businesses that touch our customers across the globe. As, as a big Fortune 1 company with the talent that we have uh, and the passion I saw this week and the connectivity that we have as business and technology folks, uh, I think sky is the limit and we had the right talent to solve great things. Absolutely well said, sky is the limit or is it? Maybe we can go even further, right? But it's been great talking to all of you today and that's a wrap from our side. Thank you so much.